Welcome to this video on network core monitoring. My name is Darren Delaney. I'm head of technical services here at Netforge Technologies. So what is this core problem? Well, even on the most basic network, we'll have a core switch, basically where everything connects back to. As networks get larger, we may have multiple core switches, and this is done so for resilience and also for load sharing purposes. If you've got many remote locations, each location may have one or more core switches. Hanging off these core switches, we will have other switches which sometimes refer to as the edge or the distribution layer. And users connect their laptops and PCs to these edge or distribution switches. The red lines shown here are what are known as trunk ports. And they're usually gigabit, they're usually fiber connections coming back to the core of the network. Now customers tell us some of the problems they have is being able to try and identify if these trunk ports are oversubscribed. So is there too much data on these links? With the result, if you look at a graph, we see the data increases to a point where the link gets saturated. Now they need more information than just the graph. So they need to know who is causing the problem, what applications they're using, maybe even what files they're copying across the network that is maxing out these trunk ports. Now to gain visibility into a network like this, we need to download and install the LangGuardian software plug a just a normal network point port into each of the core switches here back to the LangGuardian system and we can take a look at what's happening here and figure out well what ports are busy what are not so busy and with the busy ports drill down and see what's happening so let's take a look at that now we're now logged on to the LangGuardian system on this particular LangGuardian I've got a single dashboard configured which is focusing on traffic through our core switch in our case it happens to be a Cisco core switch each of these elements within the dashboard is configured to focus on a single switch port. So here we're looking at gigabit 0 slash 17. So this afternoon there's been three instances where a large amount of data has been detected on this switch port. So I'm curious now as to what's been happening on this port. So what I can do is using my mouse I just click on the peak and drill down. First thing we can see here, because it's just a single IP that's been returned, it's, a, it's probably a server that's directly connected. It's not a trunk port. If it was a trunk port, we'd see multiple IP addresses listed here. This machine is responsible for 229 megabytes data, so let's drill down and find out what's been happening. So it looks like a single client here has been connecting, well, we've multiple clients, but there's one in particular I want to look at. So 192.168.127.156 has downloaded 227 megabytes of data. So I want to look closely at this. What is this system copying off this server? So just get the IP, copy the IP address and using the LangGuardian search, let's take a look at what's been happening here. So the next screen here, it takes a few seconds for each of the elements to update with information about this client. And I really want to focus in here on this Microsoft file sharing activity. So this element here, Windows File Shares, let's click on the, the little arrow here to give us the full, full detail. So here again is the client, the server. So that 227 megabytes looks like two movie files have been copied across the network here. We're open for file read. So we've had two instances here where there's been movie files copied across the network and that has resulted in a peak on that port. So by simply looking at our dashboard screen here, which is Again, looking at each port on this switch, we can click on the peaks, drill down, and find out what has been happening on each of our ports connecting to our core. So if you want to find out what is happening on your network, please go to www.netforttechnologies.com where you can download a free trial of our software today. Thank you.